guys i hope you have not forgotten me it's been a while since i have created a youtube video i have been lately busy with my personal and the professional life but now that i have some time i thought of resuming doing youtube video i'll try to be consistent this time and try to solve and share at least two javascript front end interview questions or any tips and work arounds around the front end and in general software engineering um the videos will be out every wednesday and saturday so this is the first in the series that i am resuming today we are going to solve a uh, interview question asked in adobe is interview for mts2 front end engineer mts2 front end engineer role so if i see the lead code um, this is a fairly recent interview question that was asked it was asked on july 9 2025 and we are going to solve this question where it was asked to create compose async functions with chaining support so i am going to solve all the questions from the list but we are going to start with this one this i have already shared on my channel i'll try to resolve that um, with the better approach and this as well so we are going to create a sync compose async function with chaining support if you see the example we have three different functions a b and c a accepts two parameters b accepts a single parameter and then c accepts a single parameter it returns a promise and that promise resolves after 100 millisecond and the promise resolves with some processing for example in the first both the parameters are multiplied and their product is written for the second function um the parameter is added with phi and then the value is written similarly we get the third parameter which is then divided divided by 10 and we get the value if you see the structure of the function so we have to pass the functions to compose async function first it will then return a function which will accept the inputs or the parameters and after that it will return a promise which we will then add a chain to listen to the resolved value so the basic of solving any problem in an interview is understanding the question and understanding the structure of the function that is defined so here as i can see we have this compose async function which will accept the inputs the inputs are in reverse order as you can see first we have c then b and then a and then after this this function will return another function that's why we are simultaneously calling a uh, invoking parenthesis which will accept the inputs there are two inputs this says that the function a because it is accepting two inputs that's why we are passing two inputs in the initial call and then it will return a promise so this function will return a promise that will hold the result or the error in case if there is any error so compose or piping is a classic interview question which is asked in javascript interviews that evaluates your understanding of closure how function works in javascript and um, adding or summing that up with the async operations to make it little complex to evaluate your understanding of asynchronous operations a little better so here we are going to create this compose async function compose basically accepts the functions in reverse order and piping accepts in the normal order so if this would have been a piping function so you would have seen that this order of passing the function would be if if this would be the order of passing the function then we will start from uh, this uh, left to right but in compose we start from right to left so here this will accept only one argument a parameter because c is the first function that will be evaluated so we'll pass phi to c then that value will be passed to b and then to the a so that's a basic difference between piping and com compose Uh, both are same but only um, the execution order changes so let's start let's create this compose async function we'll move it down and here we'll con 
create the function so reading the structure it says that the compose function will accept any number of arguments as input we can have any number of arguments as input any number of functions count and it will return a function so it will return a function so let's create that here we will use the rest operator to accumulate all the functions and then here will return a function now this function will make it async and async function always returns a promise so this function on an async function which will be returned we can then apply the dot or the chaining method to get the output so we'll return a async function here and this async function will accept the input so whatever argument that you are passing that too we will use the rest operator to accumulate that in the form of an array now here because the compose function starts execution from right to left or in the reverse order the first thing we will do is we will create reverse functions list so these functions that we have got we will use the array reverse method and it will give us the reverse list now if you want if you don't want to manipulate the original list what you can do is you can just spread it in a new array and then reverse the new array so you you are not hampering or you are not mutating the original input this is a one case now after this what we'll do is we'll use the simple for of loop because this is a async function and all these functions are returning a promise so in the for of loop we can use the await keyword which will wait till the function execution has completed before going to the next element in the loop so what we'll do is we'll get the function of the functions list and then we'll get its result and here we have to pass this inputs now the challenge over here is these functions can take one or more inputs but can also return one or more inputs so to solve this what we'll do is we'll add a check we'll make sure that if the input type is an array then we'll pass the inputs as it is otherwise we'll pass it in array but the thing is this function so once we have evaluated the first function the written value from this function has to be passed to the second one so what we'll do over here is we'll define this result up front and we'll set the default values as inputs and then what we'll do is we'll update the result with whatever value we are getting after executing the function and rather than passing the inputs we'll pass the result because result is what we are uh, in the result variable we are storing the inputs so now what this will do is this will iterate over all the reverse functions list and then it will evaluate the function if the function is asynchronous it will wait till the promise is resolved or we are getting an error whatever it is and then that value will be stored in the result and it will be passed further 
at the end after the execution is done we will return the result with the final value now because this is an unsynchronous function and we have not wrapped this in the try catch block whatever will be the outcome let's say if there is an error in between when executing any of these functions then we'll get that cached in this catch block if the processing completes and then we are having the final result then it will be cached in the then block so we don't have to worry about that now that our function is ready let's test it so our output should be 2 given the sample test case so find 3 will be passed to a a will multiply them and then pass that product so 5 3 is a 15 15 will be passed to function b and here 15 will be added with 5 which will become 20 and then 20 will be divided by 10 so we should get 2 as a output now if i run this you see that we are getting 2 as a output so this is how with using closure where we have returned a function from a function where the return function remembers the argument that its parent function has received we have solved this problem now this may look simple but when we are solving this during the interviews it won't be as easy as it seems like here so practice is the key now let's say if you are preparing for front-end interviews so you can check out my course on alpha.learnersbucket.com where i have all the questions that you need for the front-end interview or anything that you need to prepare for front-end interviews are present we have 120 javascript interview questions 19 data structures 179 algorithms design pattern rendering pattern then react hooks 42 machine coding questions uh, 17 of 42 system design questions and then company wise problem set for example we have for coursera zepto meta atlassian zeta thoughtspot google and whatnot and the recent is adobe where i've added this compose async function so if you are preparing for interview you can check out my course and the link to this is in the description thank you for your time I'll be back with another variation of Composer Zinc in the next video. Thank you.